All right, let's get right to it. This is the Anta Sport Kai One in the Enlightened Warrior colorway. This is the second color to release from his signature line with Anta. The first one is called Artist on Court, which I've done a video on in the past. So if you've been keeping up with the Dallas Mavericks, Kyrie Irving has been wearing this particular color for the past few games. There's only two games left tonight and then also Sunday. We'll see how Kyrie performs as well as the Dallas Mavericks because they're slated to play the Clippers in the first round of the NBA playoffs. Uh, but back to the shoes. These shoes released today actually for $125 in the United States. I know that China is a huge market for Anta and... I'm not sure what the price point is out there, but this, I'm glad I have it in hand. So we'll break down more details on the shoes, but you'll see that it's mismatching colors. Each color is kind of symbolizes an attribute, which is listed here. You have strength, agility, focus, and speed. Now, red symbolizes strength, focus symbolizes green, uh, uh, red symbolizes strength, speed is yellow, focus is green, agility is purple, and black is a callback to the story of the Enlightened Warrior. So if you're unfamiliar with Kyrie Irving, he has Native American roots uh, from his mother's side, Elizabeth Irving, and he's always including his, um, uh, I guess his ancestry, which you can see in the tribal patterns on the tissue paper here as well as the box here this logo is actually um, a shield of protection uh, you know to the naked eye I kind of broke this down already in the, the artist on court video but his logo looks like a K but it's also an inverted K but also the number 11 so Kyrie Irving is huge into numerology not only is that his jersey number but 11 is a very important number to him so he puts it all throughout the sneakers 11's here. I believe there's one on the back heel as well. Boom. And then uh, the shield of protection, of course, 11 on there. Uh, I forgot what the, the type of foam they used in this. There's a specific word for it, but I'm sure I mentioned it in my first video, but you, you can probably go back or this will give you a good incentive to go watch the first video that I made. But the outsole is incredible. Uh, something about this material just makes it super grippy. Now, I know with the Kyrie Nike line, one of the biggest attributes of his signature line was the traction. He would have it all wrapped throughout the side. This is very similar to like a Nike uh, design. And I'm sure it was probably mentioned by Kyrie Irving. Hey, I wanted the, the outsole to kind of wrap all the way throughout the sides. So when I do cuts, I'm still sticking on the floor. And I'm not sliding all over the place, which, uh, you know, that's why he's got one of the coldest games in the NBA. Strap for lockdown containment. Uh, this right here is a language or alphabet that Anta designed specifically for Kyrie Irving. Uh, you could also see it in the back heel over here. Logo shield right there. And then Anta logo right there. And then on the heel, I don't know if you can see that on camera. Probably not. Let me zoom in. It says, the journey is the reward. And it also says it here too, both heels. Uh, look at this feather right here. This is paying tribute to Kyrie Irving's Native American roots, but also his feather earring that he always wears. Uh, I know in the, uh, what do you call those, the detailed images, or the official images, they kind of put two feathers, one on each shoe, but it actually just comes with one, which, you know, is more true to life because you don't see a Kyrie Irving rocking two feather earrings. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, there's mismatching sock liners. Uh, you could see it's a solid pink right here with, I guess it's a yellow or greenish logo, and then over here is a, more of a striped pattern with a hot pink logo. But yeah, the color combinations go crazy. This uh, kind of like uh, black and white zigzag patterns really give it a Twilight Zone or mesmerizing effect to it. And like his game, very mesmerizing. Uh, in terms of sizing, I recommend going true to size. 
they are very comfortable, I will say. Uh, for a new signature sneaker that is $125, this is up there as one of the top performers. You, sure, you have the John Morant's, you have the Anthony Edwards, you have the LaMelo Balls. The LaMelo Balls are a li little bit higher off the ground and also hugs around your ankles. This is a low-cut shoe, so you feel a little bit more, more grounded. So, similar to the AE ones, they're kind of like a mid-top shoe, so your ankles feel super secure, which means it's kind of like a little bit less mobility, but not in a bad way. But these, you get way more mobility. You're low to the ground. Uh, it's great cushioning. I sound like a spokesperson, but it's true. If you are able to get a pair in hand, definitely try it on. And then you tell me in the comments below how this compares to the other basketball sneakers that you currently have in your rotation. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm spot on when I say there's way more mobility in these. And also the traction is incredible. And um, yeah, for 125, a first signature sneaker to a legacy player like Kyrie Irving, that's kind of like a steal, essentially. In terms of the packaging, it is very, very identical to the Artist on Court colorway, which is the purple colorway that released first. Again, this purple plastic uh, protective cover, it says, I consider my product to be art. They are timeless pieces like furniture, artistic, cross-generational, handcrafted with meaning, substance, and devotion. And then signed by Kyrie Irving. Yeah, the purple box. Purple is kind of representative of royalty. And uh, yeah, there we have it. Oh, look. Box is cut off like that, but you know, not bad, not bad. Uh, I will be playing in these tomorrow morning, actually. So excited for that! Doesn't come with an extra set of laces. The white laces is what you get, and uh, I think I think I've covered everything. This looks like it's a uh, TPU right here around the mud guard. This is probably to provide uh, added stability for sure. Kyrie's more of a, a lateral guy, side to side, shifty, up and down the court with his speed explosiveness. Yeah, Kyrie Irving's been actually throwing down a lot of uh, dunks recently, particularly this year. I don't know how many dunks he's had, but it's got to be like 10 dunks. And uh, that's very know, out of body for Kyrie. Let me know your thoughts on this particular colorway. I know a lot of people have been giving positive reviews on the Kai ones and uh this is no different still to this day the the home Dallas Mavericks colorway the predominantly white with the hits of blue that is my favorite colorway that I've seen so far but these are also up there this is this is not bad look at this look at the rainbow colors you just see right there and then when you hit it with the side of yellow boom and then the pink yeah crazy all right, well, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, sound off in the comments. Peace.